This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know it, I know. What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Only Friends Podcast on this beautiful Friday. Day 18 of the WSOP. A lot of hopium in the air Yo, tonight. You patched up heavy, bro. Yeah, look at Yo, that. I've never <laughs> seen you this patched up. I mean, those every time, right? Nah, yeah. uh, not, not the... You got four patches on. I have two, <laughs> just like I always do. Yeah. You got you one for one. your hood, one for your company, one for your sponsor, <laughs> and one for your company. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're counting those. Hey, man. And a whoop. It's money making season. <laughs> Damn, you. A lot of hopium in the air. <laughs> Somebody will be a millionaire by Tuesday of next week. Please pick me. Please pick me. Please pick me. <laughs> please because pick of, me. Because of the, because of the bounty. No, nah, that's not till the main event. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot oh of God. millionaires. Oh yeah, there's gonna be. <laughs> so you have nine millionaires for the main event, right? Yep. And then you got the bounty millionaire. Bounty millionaire. And whoever wins first of the bounty is not going to be a millionaire. It's going to be close, I bet. Nah, I don't see it. You think the field's going to be smaller than it is? I, I think, think the field's going to show up. I think up. it's going to be no 20,000. How many things going to be in the main event? Not 20,000. No, but how many things it's going to be? Eight. I think it's going to be one of the biggest years. Probably it's going to be one year. of the biggest years, I think, too. All right. Eight to 10 in but the it's main. It's not going to be no Jamie Gold. No. no second right. biggest to that year. Second place of that year. We already we had just broke that. Yeah, we, we just, just broke that in 2019. Again. Again? I would have thought this would be the biggest main event ever until crypto crashed. Yeah. That's true, actually. Now I'm like imagine a little if less... it was a bull run right now, how big that main event would be. Yeah. Obviously. Anyway, I'll be staking everything. If nine thousand people <laughs> if nine thousand people are gonna show up for the main event, how many of them are not gonna play a million dollar mystery? They all play day four though. I mean day one D, whatever. I don't they know what you're saying. There. They all play the last flight, Burke. There's three days. They're not going to get here and play. They're going to enjoy their fourth weekend. They're not going to come weekend. for a million dollar pluck at a bounty? Yeah. Nobody's missing this event. How many people who play the home, com- or home warm air house party, whatever it was, are going to miss this 1K million dollar bounty? Yeah, you might be right. 20,000 entries. Might be the biggest. What is it? Is it a 1,500? 1K. <laughs> might be the biggest 1K. It really should be a 1,500. Might be the biggest 1K ever. I mean, I'm going to pluck a million dollar bounty, so. I'm Where's Dan O'Brien? Yeah, yeah. Dan, Dan, <laughs> Dan's about to go haunt you now. Like, it, it just got there, there's it probably going happy. to be there's probably when it's all said and done, there's probably going to be 20 people who profit or not profit, but uh, cash for a million dollars this summer. Wow, that's nice. How many people have already? Three, 50k four? PLO, Jake 25k Sh- PLO, Snake, 50k, no limit, 25k, no limit, 100k, no limit. Uh, yeah, you have all the high rollers, almost all of them. Any any non high roller one yet? We had one that was nine hundred and something, yeah. right? Very close. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, <laughs> what was that? It wasn't the house warming? It was seven. No, no, no. No, it was the. Um, it just happened. Yeah, last weekend. Last maybe? weekend, whatever the fuck. What were we playing? Wow, this is bad. It is bad. This is fucking bad. <laughs> Bro, the, the fog. Let me look at my receipts. The fog, just start, <laughs> the fog starts to come over you after like week two and a half. The 3K? I just came back fresh. No. No, I don't it think... wasn't the 3K, but 3K got close. 3K to got the... big. 3K was like 600 to yeah. first. Monster oh. stack. Monster stack. Yeah, there Monster you go. stack was like 950. Yeah. Yeah. We'll count it. That's a lot. We'll yeah, count that's it. That's a lot. That's six already. That's pretty <laughs> sick for a 1500. Right? That's dope. Yeah, that's. I, I think that would have been the proper price point for the million dollar bounty. Because the difference between uh, 1K and 1500 is very minimal. But. You say that, but didn't you just say that there was. Um, like the cap for 1500 has been 2K? Yeah, for a regular event, not for. Uh, okay. Not for a special. A party events. event? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, although, maybe. I, I think they try to keep those. Those weekend events pretty low. Yeah. Well, just in general, obviously the monster stack's like one of the exceptions. And the millionaire maker. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Maybe, maybe I am overlooking it because if they got 20,000 for a 500, it seems reasonable. They could easily do 10,000 for a a 1k Mm -hmm. where they may not feel comfortable. I think the monster got 
seven thousand. I don't ish? know. I'll look it up right now. Dude, it's Something all like a that? blur. That's so sad. Like we're every like, day, oh, man. Was, was it the three K? Was it? Wasn't you want to know what the sick max? thing is? This is this is what's crazy. I show up every day. I play for two hours, and I go. I, I get bounced out of the tournament. What a fucking brag! You're there for two hours. I know. I, <laughs> I'm I, normally there for three hands. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a bigger brag. Yeah, it is. What are you that's talking about? I'm sorry. I'm not wasting time. I yeah, take it it's back. all about it's all about not wasting time at this point. But the sick thing is, I have a comped room at Bally's. All I have to do is speak to somebody. Because you can't you can't book more than like four days in a row online or something like that. Maybe it's seven days something. But I want to book through the main event so that I just have room to go to on breaks. You know, place to keep my shit, whatever. Yeah. And I can't get it done. Why? Well. I try. I keep trying to do it on on property after I bust, and there's always a minimum of thirty people in line, and I'm just like, why? Well, <laughs> you have a host. I do not have the patience for this. No, of course not. Um, you can go into the diamond lounge if, if they have one, like diamond room. Mm. I think they, yeah, I'm pretty sure they. I think you're right. Have something like that. Anyway, uh, it was sixty five hundred for the monster okay. stack. Okay, so we were close. Right. Um, yeah, so that'd be like the equivalent of ten thousand for a one k. Seems reasonable. Uh, but yeah, so the alternative then is to make a phone call, which I tried and then got put on hold and I couldn't take it. I just hung up. So now here I am. Is like someone from India. Roomless. You have roomless. an assistant. I know. Yeah, she's on vacation. Assistant? She just went back to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this. <laughs> Trust me. It was the first, it was the first thought that went through my head. I was like, damn it. She just left. What a bad time to be uh, on vacation. Room assistant. VIP parking. Who are you, man? You're nice. Yeah, I got what better a nice parking life. than him. I would love to play v WSOP like that. It's like, you just take a break upstairs. You got to show up, man. Uh, you, you you got something. I showed up for 10 years. For 10 minutes. 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> two hours a day. Yeah, two hours a day. <laughs> you have shown up a long time. That's I have all my winnings in the past. That's the problem is, is all my sun runs are behind me. Now I'm just... Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here to... contributing to the table conversation. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, another... Yeah, no, I know. I yeah, Jacks, what, Jacks are tough in the play. I remember when I, so when I did that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Jacks are tough. No, yeah, th that was a tough spot. I see why you agonized over it. I remember back whenever I didn't try to play well. I just tried to survive as well. Yeah, I, you'll get was, over that. Trust me. It was me. so much better when you didn't know things. Oh, God, so much better. Because you were just, like, looking to fold big <sighs> hands so all the time. Just, it was either you fold big hands or you run big bluffs. Nothing in the middle. And now all, all we do is, like, check, check. I know. It's like, fucking check. Everything's a check. Check, 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 check. Six yeah. ways. Unless you have nothing or something, you check. I don't check. That's I haven't been checking much at all. Maybe that's the problem. I've been doing a lot of... No, but, what you've been doing is you've been doing a lot of calling. I so have been doing calling. some calling. I, I, I'll tell you the line that's been getting me in the most trouble is going for the uh, the three bet or four bet and then leading 10% to over bet the turn. Yeah. They have it. Yeah. They, have they it. always have yeah, it. Yeah, if it's a four bet pot, they absolutely yeah. have I it. have it too. Yeah. I just nah, don't have enough of it. Not as much as they nah, have Nah, you it. have like ace queen. Nah, I have like <laughs> kings with a nut flush draw on like <laughs> oh, ace. Okay. On I like, mean, on like ace, like, jack, five, oh, ace? six, nah, you don't got three it. diamonds. Ace and I'm just like dead against ace four off. Yeah. <laughs> and like, the this four is a diamonds. Four yeah. pot. <laughs> yeah. Ogre's rough, man. It's hard, man. It's, it, those streets are tough. Honestly, it's, it's funny. Every time I start talking more about it, I get so much more excited it's, because hmm. the, the human brain is very weird <laughs> with how it does, deals with pain, right? It just. Yeah. You know, you have a traumatic experience. Like, Massive you hear desert. people talk about, like, falling out of a two-story window and surviving. Yeah. And being like, yeah, yeah, just, like, shattered my leg. or But, like, I didn't even feel anything. I was just in shock. Yeah. And then they kind of get over it, right? Yeah. And the trauma from that, that injury is just buried somewhere deep in their brain. And <laughs> yeah. it's not a big deal to them. And then oh. I think about it, like, happening. Or, like, you know, yeah, I had my teeth knocked out. Like, my, right. my nephew had, got hit in the face with a puck and lost his two front teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. That's the exact response you should have to that. That's exactly. I just was like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it goes through my head. It's just like, oh, I don't even know how you survive something like that. It's so hard. Or, like, people have those injuries where, like, their oh, limbs are their just bone is hanging out and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But. The reality is our brains are so conditioned to deal with this type of trauma yeah. that it just happens. 
you don't yeah. feel much it's in the why, moment. That's why, like, inflicting pain through, like, exercise and stuff makes you have happy chemicals. That's Yeah, that's true. And the same thing, if you go for stuff that's, like, immediately pleasurable to you, your brain will emit sad chemicals. You're just trying to get to baseline at all times. That's, that, that's actually very true. So, yeah, it's like we suppress this pain. And immediately just forget that it ever happened. Never happened. So we can show up and do it again. Yeah. Yep. I'll see you guys in the that's morning. That's me. It's like, God, I can't wait. Another 1500 today? That's what I get to play. <laughs> I get to play 50 big blinds deep in a 1500. I can't fucking wait. Yeah, yeah. honestly, it's just like, um, I was Too thinking about it yesterday because there was nothing for me to play after I busted the freeze. And I was like, man, this is the moment of sadness that I have to wait till tomorrow to register something. <laughs> it was like, oh, no. I didn't know what to do with myself yesterday. I had free time for like, I shouldn't say that. I've had a fair amount of free time, yeah. but usually it's like coming a lot later. I'm usually busting closer to dinner breaks or whatever. And at that point, it's seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I just go to pickleball. Yeah. Yesterday, I busted at like four and I got home. It's still way too hot to go to pickleball. So I was like, okay, I'm hungry. I'll eat. Okay. Now I'm tired. I guess I'll take a nap. I guess I'll take a nap. <laughs> and I woke up at like six and i was just like having an out of body experience like i was so just like anxious and just i felt compelled to do something i'm like i should go back to the gym i already went to the gym I i've been to the gym five times this week i can't go again and i was like i should get work done i don't want to do work definitely don't want to do work and i was like okay maybe i should just go play pickleball because like i enjoy it and i'm just like do i though <laughs> like i go there and i suck and then i just leave miserable Thinking You're often about, angry when you get back. Yeah, there. like thinking about how <laughs> awful I played. And then that just carries over to like, or, you suck at poker too. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe it's time to just hang it up, big guy. You know, you, you've, you're you not good at pickleball. You're, you're too old so to play the other doomed. sports. It's just like, take a nap That's and call so it a rude. day. <laughs> I ended up watching like some... Uh, it was really fantastic. Ron Howard put out this docu series on Netflix, uh, called like the Dark Web or some something about the the internet, and I think it's like a ten part series where each episode is uh, a standalone. So the first one was about these kids swatting one another. Um, you guys don't know what that oh, is? Oh yeah, like on yeah. online. Yeah. yeah. So the, they're like online gamers, and they mm -hmm. they like. Uh, sick the sw local SWAT team yeah. on their opposition. Yeah. It's wild. While they're so, streaming and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so like one guy ends up dying, obviously, like the cop shot him. Oh my God. And the cop was like fully acquitted and became this whole like under thing. So this is the craziest thing. So uh, this, this There's kid gets swatted. There's a name for this shit? Yeah. Swatting? Yeah, it's like a thing it's wild. In, like on Twitch and stuff. They were I'm, I'm so thrown they were showing like high, They were showing like points where like guys were gaming and the SWAT team just burst right. in their bedroom door yeah. while they're streaming. Yeah. It became like a big meme. Uh, it's like brag it's like type a thing. thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but there was one kid who was like really, I can't remember his name, but he was like the Kingpin Swatter. So mm -hmm. like, he started off by having buildings evacuated, calling in like bomb threats and, and fire codes and stuff like that. Uh, and then he graduated to swatting. So he swats this guy. Uh, the guy answers the door to the SWAT team and they're telling him to like uh, put his hands up or whatever. And I guess he just like lowered his hands. You know, whatever. You're in a panic. Like, yeah, yeah you're having instruction shouted at you, but like, it's a weird thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I've never been in it, so I, I don't really know. But he like lowers his hands and the cop just open fires, kills him. Obviously, he was unarmed. Cop gets fully acquitted in spite of having been a part of like three other shooting incidents, right? So he ends up getting fully acquitted. The kid gets discovered that like swatted him. It turns out to be this like whole big sting. And he ends up doing time. Uh, as well as like his accomplices. Uh -huh. So they all do a range of time from like probation to I think like eight years in jail. Meanwhile, the guy who actually <laughs> killed somebody is off. still working, totally scot free. Uh, it, it was it's a it's a wild. Thing. I ended up watching five different we know like, the, five different episodes of this stuff. You know the too. guy that answered the door wasn't black because we were just taught to put the hands up. Mm. <laughs> no he that. wasn't black. You're right. He was white. Um, it was Price like he got shot then. <laughs> wow. <laughs>
they they do be biased. <laughs> do they not? It was in middle of nowhere, Kansas. But yeah, it was it was a weird thing. Uh, so far, the show is really great. It, it was swatting was the first episode. Um, I can't remember what the the next two episodes. I was in and out of a nap. You know, kind of tough. Yeah. <laughs> the fourth right. episode was called um, uh, Sextortion. Oh. Really? Sounds good. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. This kid on mass was extorting high school girls by uh he had like a a, a catfish account uh-huh. on Facebook and he was like adding them as friends or whatever. And they would start chatting and he would start flirting and he would take over their Facebook accounts. He did this to like 23 girls between the ages of like 15 and 19 or something like that and then he would extort them for nudes and this went on it took them five years to, to try bust and get th- their facebook account back no or? i don't know that was like a minor detail uh, but how would he extor- he would extort them by being like i'll give you your facebook back if you get so them like nudes. <laughs> he would get their facebook access or he would take over their facebook account which would also give them him access to their emails oh, and all this other stuff okay and he would like fish for information so uh one of the first girls he asked if she had ever sent a nude and she said only once to my ex-boyfriend and once he took over her facebook account he found that nude in her email and then threatened to post it to facebook if she didn't start sending him more nudes. He was literally extorting them all just for more nudes. So weird. <laughs> FBI got involved. So it turned into weird. this big sting. It took five years for them to bust him. And then he, like, as they were busting him, he takes off in a high, high-speed chase. It was wild. You guys have to watch this. Uh, I, I He's down bad. Down real bad. Real bad. It's yeah. like the same guy in Landon's fucking Instagram DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asking Landon for nudes? Especially for information. Yeah, they were saying that this this is happening like like this was just one instant instance instance. How did he uh, get into their Facebook? What's that? How do you get into their Facebook? He's just a hacker. Okay. Like just a low level hacker. Yeah. Oh, guys, this is good. <clears throat> these guys could just go to DR. Like it's not that hard, bro. <laughs> like if you just you literally go to Sosua and DR right next to fucking Puerto Plata, they fucking they're just lined up for you, dog. If you're American, they're just lined up. Well, for just hooker. You, you don't well, gotta do all this all this crazy. Well, this shit. guy was like particularly creepy. He was uh they like went through his browser history and stuff, and he, he was looking the power. for No, no, no. He was looking for like preteen porn. It. Uh, so he was like. He, I think he, he was like 19 when it started and 23 by the time they caught him. He's mental. Or 18 mental health to 23. Problem. But yeah, it seemed like he was like yeah. flirting with the pedophile-ish. Yeah. Mental health for sure. Um, well, preteen porn. I mean, it's, that's as pedo as it gets. The show yeah. is really <laughs> well done. Each yeah. episode is like an hour. Ron Howard's an amazing director. Just can't recommend it enough, Sounds even good. though I don't remember the name of it. Who's Ron Howard? He sounds like Are a football serious? player. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, this is- have you basketball? ever seen Happy Days? No. Oh, Happy Days. Are you what sure, this, is, is, are you sure this isn't a like Louis Armstrong type of <laughs> No. No. Ron Howard was... I, I don't remember his name from Happy Days. He was the main character. And then he went on to direct a bunch of films. I feel like he directed Forrest Gump. Is that incorrect, Guapo? I'm not sure what his main uh, claim to fame is as far as a, a director People goes. Did da Vinci? Okay. Oh, the Da Vinci Code? Okay, maybe that's true. Beautiful Mind. Apollo Arrested 13. Development. Okay. He's a long list. Okay. This guy is like the goat. Gotcha. But more importantly, he's on fucking Happy Days with the Fonz. I've never seen Happy Don't Days. Don't look at me like I'm the idiot. Like, <laughs> it was 20 years before I was born, too, but everybody's seen Happy Nobody Days. Nobody in this room has seen Happy Days oh other God. than you. Yeah, put the camera at me. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Uh, Richie Cunningham, that was his oh, name. Oh, Guapo's seen it. Of course he has. Yeah, guapo. He's a reasonable human being. These are the days where, like, Lamanda not being here is so, so bad for me. (laughs) (laughs) Just so bad. I've seen Gilligan's Island. Okay, same time frame. I saw He Got Game. You saw that one? He Got Game was great. Yeah, Yeah, nice. You remember he was smashing that chicken on the, like, on that, uh, what was that thing called? What the? The Ferris wheel? Yeah, the Ferris wheel. That's never good, dude. Don't do that. Are you mistaking that for fear? (laughs) No, no, he... The movie he, Fear he with Mark game, Wahlberg. No, and he got a game. He's smashing the chick in the Ferris wheel yeah, for sure. Right. In, in Coney Island. I don't remember that part. Don't do that, though. It's not good. Why? There it's was good. a part. Did you ever see the movie Fear with uh, Mark Wahlberg? Oh, wow. What a messed up movie. 
It's also like really, highly recommend. I like messed up. Ones. So good. It's psychological thriller. Love really, that. really good movie. That's my favorite. The girl actually smashed him in the because that girl was really aggressive. <laughs> Why do you not recommend it? Stop. <laughs> You're trying to catch me. <laughs> I just Googled hey, how do you know? game, having yeah, sex how on the know? Ferris wheel and it came up like five things. Las Vegas couple arrested. Las Vegas couple arrested. Oh, for sure. In the, in the high roller? Arrested. In the high roller? A hundred percent. People are so dumb, man. There's cameras in there. Las Vegas couple arrested. Well, Everything. Yo, it's like super cheap to... Locals. It's super cheap to just get... Oh, man, Las Vegas couple. Everybody's just arrested. Because it's super cheap to just get one of those pods for yourself. Oh, pod. That's right. Yeah, but there's yeah. cameras in there, man. Like, yeah, you can't, you it's like banging in an elevator. You can't do that. Someone's watching you. Yeah, you got to go yeah. to Berkey's comp room. Yeah, but that's like some people say. Like, some people like being watched. Whoa. Not if, not if the result Here is getting arrested. Maybe. Here we go. I mean, I Boy, ends, if you man. want to be watched, go to the green door. Wait, yeah, what? That's the green door. It's like you a swingers club or something. You no, patched but, up but with you the green can, door? Like, go in. <laughs> you can go I'm in like... and you don't have to participate or take your clothes off. <coughs> I learned this from someone who mm -hmm. went. Mm -hmm. Probably the same someone I learned yes, it from. It Wait, is. what? <laughs> <laughs> so you can go and just... Y'all you you got just the go same watch. info from the same person? Yeah. yeah. But I think it's like if you're a girl, you can just do whatever you want. I think you're probably a little more choosy about guys just going in there and no, uh, poking it's around. it's an exhibitionist like thing. So they just want, you know, viewers. Yeah, maybe. Wow. So there's different rooms and then like, I think there are themed maybe. No, oh, off camera, yeah. you gotta tell me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not um, into it. Uh, yeah, it's not my People thing. People want the patch if, for the green door. They want to be patched, <laughs> patched up, up, for the up green. in the green door. Wow, imagine wearing a green door patch. That's strong. What's your read on a guy with a green door patch? <laughs> this guy likes to fuck. <laughs> What's your read on a woman with a green door patch? Does he bluff? Like, a woman with the green door patch is strong. Yeah. Strong player. Strong they're, player. They're <laughs> definitely in there with the backdoor gut shot draw. Yeah, the backdoors, <laughs> they will like, chase backdoors. Like so. the, they literally have three to a straight <laughs> just trying to turn a backdoor gut shot. Yeah. That's it. They live for it. They're, they're going nowhere. I bluffed it off the other day, and the girl was like, you could have just called and only lost 5,000. <laughs> And I was just like, and I literally busted on the hand. Like I ripped it. I ripped with like what a blocker or whatever, but I had a pair, but I knew it was no good. I ripped and she like tanks, tanks. And then she's like, how much is it? And I'm like, fuck. And then she's like, call. She has like a, a hand that she shouldn't have had, but it was a really good hand. And then I'm like, good game. And then she's like, you could have just called and only lost 5,000. <laughs> and everyone around me is just like, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Wow. And I'm just like, good game. <laughs> like I'm just like remember you're a professional you don't respond back you don't do anything bad like okay everyone's like ouch 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 I was so mad bro wow I was really sad Listen. you think you were mad then imagine if you had a hotel room at Caesars right now <laughs> <laughs> ah, then you would be oh, hotel room you can't use. less mad you can use it you just, you just get lit up Bro. Oh, I forgot the chinchas. Yeah, are the chinchas are there. They finally found you a hotel room. They got the chinchas. Bro, I ain't going nowhere near the chinchas. I ain't going nowhere near Caesars. I'm going to be super salty when somebody finally corrects us like six months down the road and tells us chinchas is actually like a swear word in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jesus is definitely bad folks. <laughs> like we just take but it, it as should be a swear word. He should literally say anything and have us be saying it. We just it. start mimicking whatever Christian says. <laughs> no. Like, oh, he knows Spanish. This just must be what it means. Like, we would never believe Melissa if she told us a Japanese word. No. No, of course not. <laughs> because apparently my, mom, you, my mom's not to be believed because she told me words that is not what it meant. No, that's not true. I asked her what suicide meant in Japanese the other day, and Seppuku. she told me, and I, was, I believed it. Bro, so how do they so have that's the in yeah, that's the that, was, that was a bot, though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like I asked it's also a word that I've heard a lot from Andre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have a chinchas infestation. That's nuts, man. Yeah, yeah that's nasty. That's gross. Are you worried at all about like the play, traveling chinchas? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> chinchas. Chinchas are like the best travelers of all time. I know. They're hardy. They, no, they literally. And they jump. They can jump from body to body. I think. I'm just imagining this very little bed bug with like a suitcase, <laughs> wandering over to Bally's <laughs> with their 
true. They're setting, up, they're setting up in those chairs. Bro, the fact that they're all fucking Caesar's properties, they're all traveling around. Yeah. Yeah, they're just there with their diamond cards, you know, skipping the line. Someone like, goes from Caesar's to Bally's. They oh. have some chinchas on their shoulders. She might not go to the strip for the rest of the fucking day. Bro, <laughs> chinchas are the best travelers on the world. Like, they literally. <laughs> Why do you know so much about Ben? <laughs> because I'm obsessed. To stay. Yo, he's we used obsessed. to stay at Borgata, we used to stay at Borgata Harris, Nugget. Like, and then I'm like, you know, a lot of people be sleeping on these beds. And then I started researching, like, these beds and hotels yeah, all have a lot of them have chinchas. Bed bugs are, like, the yeah. least of my concerns when it comes to hotel bedding. Don't start bedding. researching no, hotel should beds. Be. You'll never be the same again. <laughs> yes, I'm never the yeah, same again. Yeah. I just, ignorance chinchas is Chinchas are a real problem, bro. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Y'all laugh because only because it's called cheat yeah. you know, you know, If I said bed bugs, you guys would have laughed. Yeah, no, we laugh. It's really funny. We laugh. it's I'm laughing because of the seriousness. Yeah. In it's which so you dead serious. It's a problem. Such a... Bro, if you take a cheat cha home. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a hoe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you take a chicha home with you, bro, you're fucked. Yeah. One you gotta, you gotta like. Right. You gotta like. Throw out all your, you gotta clean out yeah. all your closet. You gotta like put everything you have in to plastic put everything bags. On a tent. Yeah, it's nuts, man. Yeah, one chincha just spoils the bunch. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it's all it takes is one. Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> chongas. The chat, the chat's talking about chongas. That's something way different. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't think what I want to know. Chongas? What's chongas? You don't just know. Google chongas. You don't want to know. <laughs> Google, Google no, knows how to spell it. How could you Google Guapo it? knows how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Guapo knows exactly what a chonga is. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe on the this. The chongas are not the ones oh, wearing the green patch. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> That's, those are the green door sponsored women. Sure. Um, Yo, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about these people changing their guarantees, man. Who? Oh, They're, the Orleans. Yeah, the Orleans. What they do? GM. They did this again? They rugged, yeah. yeah they, they rugged, rugged this they again? They rugged. rugged, yeah. They rug pulled. So basically, story goes, they guarantee X amount of money. Day of the tournament comes. All of a sudden, it's changed. So yeah. call before it. Before registration begins or? Like before. Right, after, be right before. Day of. Okay. Which, which Okay, tournament? but cards aren't out. Yeah, cards aren't out. I mean, it's, it's shitty, but, but they like. They keep doing it. Yeah, this is the yeah. second time they did it. They did this a previous <clears throat> series that they ran. Uh, Orleans I, got fleeced in a, an event, right? Like, they missed the guarantee by a lot. Oh, that, that, I think that was the one they changed it. I think... But oh, it's like I, the, I'm just going by what know, somebody said in my maybe mentions. Maybe just make them smaller to begin with instead of, like, hyping everyone up. People make their schedules, and then... Yeah, they the had this big up, one. Like, oh. It was, like, 250K Orleans, I think. It was the beginning of the series. Then, like, they changed it. Now, MGM had, like, a 50 ball... They changed it to 25. A 50K guarantee they had to change? Huh? I, think, I think that's what happened. It was on Ali Kessler's Twitter, whatever. He <laughs> Obviously, it is his. But still, I mean, Down it's not wrong. bad. Though. Yeah. Yeah, but so, yeah, think about it. A 50 ball turns to 25K. Well, there's I a mean, lot of competition right now. It's Yeah, I, I think that, <clears throat> look, I said this before. I, I think that a lot of the uh, other properties aren't <laughs> doing a great job of, of considering the entire series. Mm. And how they can fill a niche. Yeah. Like, I, I said, Resorts World's doing a really good job. And I didn't even know this was a thing until I went yesterday. And they, they're doing a mixed games festival where it's cash games. They do it every year. Is that what they're uh, doing? Last, like last year, I think it was at They're uh, pulling Westgate. in a huge, like, niche because it's like so all the said before, international people are coming and playing mixed yeah, games. Yeah. Uh, I said this, like, way back in March on the pod that. Uh, if I were Arya, I would just exclusively run mixed game tournaments. Right. Yeah. Because there's so many, like, mixed games are so popular outside of the U.S. And people are traveling in. They want to play six-card PLO and, like, yeah. you know, all the games. Mm -hmm. so. well, it also just allows you to create a niche that isn't being fulfilled anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot, of these, a lot of these smaller rooms are trying to fill the niche of smaller buy-ins. So they're yeah. trying to find, like, ways to get people at the $50 price point, the 100 the 200 whatever. And... It's like, okay, that's, that's kind of okay in a way, but there's a lot of you. Yeah. And if you're all butting up against one another, you just lose to the best room. Yeah. Right? So if it's the Orleans, MGM, <clears throat> South Point, Caesars, I don't know Caesars for sure. Well, Chintas. Yeah. Is it okay? But is it okay to do that? I mean, it's okay. It's just not 
practical. It's not People the best business. Like catfishing. You catfish this. Oh, you're saying that they changed the guarantee? Yeah. Um, I think that. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they need to be more transparent about it. Like, it's not. It's not a good look. But it's well within their rights. No, it's, it's within their rights. It always says, like, you have the option too. to do that. But, I don't know, it looks bad. I, I just think that they're all missing an opportunity, right? Like, everybody yeah. releases their schedules at different points. And you can also anticipate a lot of things. Like, if you're MGM, you know that you're butting up against uh, the Orleans. You know that you're going to be up against, like, uh, maybe Arya to some degree. I think Arya runs a bunch of dailies, yeah. the WSOP daily. Yeah. Like you can look at all of these prize pools. You can look at these structures and you can just say like, okay, how can we be different and draw the eye of this consumer that's mm -hmm. interested in this, like call it mid stakes tour or low yeah. stakes tour, right? Uh, and oftentimes the way to do that is to be able to fulfill guarantees, which if you want to set the bar higher, like, say you're MGM and you're like, okay, well, I see that the Orleans is pretty much capped out at, like, 100K guarantees. I see that the Nugget is, like, not guaranteeing anything or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You could say, like, okay, I'm just going to go 3X and I'm going to fill these seats. And the way that I'm going to do that <laughs> is to bring in talent that can market better for us yeah. or uh, to create different structures or different, you know, whatever. Because, like, you're not, you're not... Uh, restricted the way the WSOP is where it's like every event has to run like clockwork over a certain period of time so that they can keep the turnover rate high and moving people into next events. If you're MGM, you can run a 300K five-day event. To be fair, that's exactly what they've been doing. They've been running a lot of um, two flights per day, um, three-day-a-week tournaments and getting pretty good turnout. I think the first couple kind of missed, mm -hmm. but um, I think they've been getting there. This yeah, week they I, have a I'm not dollar. criticizing because I don't know uh, enough about their schedule, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, if they're missing guarantees to the point where they feel like they need to cut <laughs> them in half. Probably more their one days, I would think. They didn't. Right. So what happened was they cut the guarantee. It was 50K, mm -hmm. cut it to 25, and then they hit 53K. Yeah. So what's the difference? That there is a difference. It's, 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 you, it's, they, just a, it's just nah. a bad marketing look. Yeah. yeah. It's a bad look. You, you lose trust in your, your consumers, yeah. lose trust in your, in your product. And you look nitty. I think, I think when the guarantees are that small, the guarantees are useless. I would agree. Yeah. Right? It's like, what's the difference if it's 50 or 25? Just don't guarantee it. WSOP or or, is it, or guarantee is small. <laughs> right. like you're, not bring, you're not bringing people in for the guarantee there. You're bringing people in for the price point, I think. Like, right. I, I, don't, I think the, the buy-in price point is bigger than the guarantee to those people at this, that are playing the one day, whatever. Yeah. So, I don't know. Mm. I would also shy away from one day events in venues like that um it seems it seems counterintuitive to say like oh we're gonna run multi-day events where it's like the re it's a little bit more resource intensive it might be a little bit more expensive but it's like you can play dailies anywhere and almost no one's gonna choose to play a daily outside of the wsop whenever it's so much bigger Right, like first place in the WSOP daily is what you're guaranteeing the entire prize pool to be. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And it's not like the price points that different. It's like 250 buy in WSOP. How much cheaper could it be at MGM? No, it's more expensive. I think it was a 400 that. Yeah, so it's like even worse. You can just go to the Venetian and play a 400 dollars deep stack, and first place will be 200k. Yeah. 150k, whatever. Um. Yeah, it's tough. It, it's it's really hard. I think. Well, maybe hard isn't the right word. It's, it's a lot of navigation. It just requires a lot of thoughtfulness and work. Yes. To put together schedules that uh, both appeal to a certain consumer base <clears throat> as well as to your loyalist. Yep. So <clears throat> every All room's job is to try to figure out a way to steal market share from the competing rooms. And it's also all while tying into WSOP. Like yeah. You all, yeah. Because you always have to work around their yeah, schedule. Yeah, like that was kind of what I was saying uh, either yesterday or the day before where it's like if I were one of these smaller rooms I would work the inverse schedule of WSOP all my biggest events would be post main event uh -huh. for sure mm -hmm. it's just a layup stay around guys we, <laughs> yeah. big, we got some big events for the next two weeks right right and it's like uh, and you can even as as a room like MGM kind of piggyback off the fact that the Venetian doesn't do a great job of that Venetian so, tries that right it's like the well they try that, that's the 5k but that's what I'm saying MSG Venetian too. tries to capture now the the bigger average buy-in player from the WSOP post main, right. 
which now opens the doors for an MGM or whoever to say like, you got a $400 price point. We got the best events in town for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You start running multi-day Imagine events. Imagine if like the wind literally just did like 500 to 1500, 500 to 2Ks, like right after the main event. It would probably smash. Yeah, it would. I would. A lot God, of people are coming in. No just... chinchas at the wind. No chinchas at the wind. <laughs> You got really good food, they watermelon, got watermelon juice. juice. Yeah, they got fucking watermelon juice. I don't know what that means. You never had what? it? No, I'm, I'm, I'm Yum, not a fan of watermelon. So good. Uh, that reminds me though. What did he just say? Not a fan I'm not a fan of watermelon. of watermelon. What is wrong with him? He literally insulted your whole, like your whole community. So it's like... Your whole community got insulted. It's crazy. Wow. Let me guess. You don't eat fried chicken too? I love fried chicken. Uh, I'm gonna bring some home tonight. I just, I don't, really, I don't really, I don't really eat it, but I love it. We're going to say. I'm in for a fried chicken grape day. juice, too. You name it shit. Better be Welch's. <laughs> grape juice is fine. Nah, packaged Kool-Aid, baby. Grape vapor Kool-Aid. <laughs> grape vapor Kool-Aid is the nut low. It's, it's so gross. It's legitimately grape the nut low. Grape flavored stuff is nasty. Grape popsicles are okay. Uh. I don't uh, that anything. that reminds me. I, At least you like grape jelly. Grape jelly is the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, I said this before. If if you grew up liking strawberry jelly, that tells me all I need to know about you. <laughs> you're you an had, elitist. You had a rich family. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you're an elitist. You you. And the thing is, there's no price difference between I was strawberry, a strawberry and grape. Strawberry jelly household, but I prefer yeah. grape. Oh, grape is better. You're one of us. Yeah. Deep, deep down, down, deep down, deep down you're down, one of us. Yeah. I understand. Grape is better. Uh, I put that thread out, and I remember people being like, "Apricot's the best." It's like, what? "Fuck you, you one percenter! Who do you think you are?" The beaches of France. Uh, <laughs> apricot? What are you canning your own? <laughs> it's like, insane. Yo, what it's is an apricot? Insane answer. I don't even know what that like is. That, like yellowy orange fruit. Oh, I yeah. hate that one. Ew, that one's nasty. What? What? Like, who says that? <laughs> Rich I don't people. like that one. Peanut butter like that and one. apricot jelly. Absolutely. Maybe not. that that one year that I get into the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start eating apricot jelly. <laughs> Live it's right. actually preserves. That yeah. one yeah. year. <laughs> there, uh, there are two corrections I want to make yesterday. So, unbeknownst to me, this this was like really eye opening to me. I had no idea. Oats actually do have fat and Let's protein. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh, wow. And only bought only. more. I, up five percent today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Contrary to that, Oatly is actually under like heavy scrutiny now. There's a ton of negative the press. Why? You, you, they already got the market why? share. What did, what did it do? Uh, something. Were they racist? Something about ethics. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about that. Right. Non, I'm not worried about non it. Non-ethical company. I'm and not worried about it. You know what? You, you know what? Else is an ethical? Yeah, Nike's not Nike. ethical either. They are. They're they make all the Chinese. They're, they're not factories. ethically harvesting their oats. Okay. Okay. You know don't what worry. isn't ethically harvesting Nike? But I still wear Apple. It. Apple has yeah. all the factories in China. That's fucked up. I mean. But we buy. I got iPhone. You don't got iPhone. I got so I still iPhone. didn't believe it. Whenever I saw the <laughs> uh, saw the macro. The funny part is I eat oats like all the time, and yeah. I put them into my macro calculator. But it never even dawns on me that they're anything other than a carb. Um, but apparently, it's because the germ of the wheat is still intact with Stop, oats, bro. So the fat and the the protein <laughs> the come from. <laughs> 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 oh, it's got ch- ch- <laughs> the germs still in there. It's not like germs. It's like the part of the wheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still thinking about chinchas. He, he can't get his mind off it. He's terrified. <laughs> a, I think He's I'm fucking a terrified of chinchas. I don't think I you guys think understand. I think I have a phobia. <laughs> you definitely do. I yeah. don't think you guys understand. Go ahead. The phobia is real. Uh, and then the other thing was Christian was sort of right about the the... My number was thing. slightly off. Well, the, it's it's twelve. It's twelve percent. It was eleven point one percent, but it's it's really off. Saying twenty, I, I know it doesn't seem that far off, but it's 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 very far off if I understood the article correctly, which is basically saying that ten percent, like being in the top ten percent of earners, means that you're earning like roughly one third of the one percent, mm. which means that it's probable that of that grouping of ten percent, at some point in their lifetime, they'll have a windfall. Because right. it makes sense. They're already doing, they're, they're fairly affluent. If you're in the top 10% of earners, you're, you have enough affluence where, like Christian said, <laughs> there's a chance that somebody will pass an asset on to you or you will have accrued wealth yeah. through any of these channels. It was like, like 70% will spend at least a year in the top 20%. That's a lot. Yeah. The top 20% though is... In uh, the U.S. though. In the U.S. In the U.S. But 
but the top 20%, I think, wasn't an impressive number. The numbers I saw was, I think 10% was 175K. So 53% will spend at least one year in the top 10%. That's a lot. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Half of America will earn 175k for one year. For one year, that no that way. seems that That's, seems. That no, we're not doing this again. <laughs> well, so here's That's the other thing. Off. Here's the, here's the other thing. It's not off. It's just it's just how it is. Well, here's, like, the, you here's get, the other thing that I noticed. Like if you I could turn me find last this year, article. you were in the one percent. It don't no no. But you no, were it's, sure. It doesn't no, matter. But I was in the one percent a couple times then. Like, yeah. Like, no, but that's not how it works. There's no way that 50% of fucking Americans are going to make 175K a year. Not it's just for, in, no, it's not just a for year. One year. It's not for one, one year. year. It's just one, one time. Year. You're entire. Yeah, I understand that. You did it once. In their you did whole it. life. I'm not saying me. I, I'm a fucking, but you know, it, but another it could happen planet. fairly easily. 175 is not a huge, huge number. Man, I don't know. Well. So the other thing was I couldn't find anything outside of this article that was like kind of backing this. So I don't know how much of this to take with a grain of salt. It is CBS News, so it seems like it's probably a pretty reputable source. Um, but yeah, it seems hard to believe that half of America at some point in their lifetime will experience at least one year of affluence. Hmm, yeah. That definitely goes against the narrative of... I mean, I wonder where the majority of those windfalls come from. Uh, probably, probably real estate or, or business. Or, or well, it's more interesting to me to you cash out your 401k areas. or like any of those things. Yeah. I mean, it's easier, <clears throat> obviously, to happen if somebody's going from like averaging, call it 40k a year salary, to having a year where they make 170. Also, inheritance. But how does that happen? You, bro, you don't have an inheritance <laughs> when you're making 40k a year. How does no. that happen though? Like, when, no, man, how you, do you, like, what causes you to make 175 life insurance, like as this. opposed to 40K one year? So, somebody's saying that this article is of workers. It's 11% of workers. Yeah, it doesn't in, matter. It's 20 America. to 60. No, that makes a lot of That makes a fucking that makes lot a huge of sense because it takes off fucking 70% of the people I was thinking about. It's, no, yeah. it's between <laughs> the ages of 20 to 65. Because the people who are unemployed are not in there. But yeah, like, there's the probably people, like what? If it's, 10 or 11% that are unemployed. Yeah, but the people yeah. that are unemployed are not even counted in any of the stats. They're right. just they're just well they're counted the in stats. total populace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so that's I was it. thinking okay, like but that total reduces population. America by like sixty million. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, sixty million. Yeah. I think I think these numbers mostly come like how it happens is inheritance, real estate, selling your stocks. All these things happen one time, and then you get yeah, that. Yeah, of course, of course. Four hundred one k's. Yeah, you get all, that, all that one stuff. year. Right, and but then that, you're out. That, that it becomes less probable every time that you go down the earning curve. Right? Of course, yeah. If, so if, if, once if you start to look at people earning less than six figures a year, no, it becomes 100%, way if you, less probable. In, even in the article, it said if your father was someone that earned 40000 you're very likely to be in that same bracket. Now, yeah. the mobility of money, the higher you go, is, is much more great. Right, which is why I right. understood that right. the 11% number made sense to me because yeah. it's like you're already targeting a group that's making uh 150k Over, plus yeah, 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 so sure. it's like they're already an affluent group they are going to have these assets right, and they'll yeah. have these random occurrences where they have a big yeah. windfall it's easier yeah. to have windfalls if you have like investments right but like right. the 50 percent investment or whatever right. yeah, yeah but like the 50 percent seems crazy to me yeah but I'm work, sure somebody will workforce though i guess i'm sure somebody will send me an article tomorrow that disproves it yeah. you already have it check your dms <laughs> sure. Sure. Maybe it's all coming from YouTube. I mean, fifty percent of the population just on YouTube and OnlyFans. Bro, those people are making yo YouTubers. The, the, the YouTubers are making their own money, are man. Cleaning content's, up. content's king, bro. Yeah, it's like, true. The content, like creator economy, is massive. Yeah, it's where is our money, bro? Crazy. The whole economy <laughs> itself is massive, but it it doesn't divide equally like it's no, certainly it's a one percenter heavy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Burke is just getting rich as fuck and we're just here every day. Wow, <laughs> youtube's just... been sending him checks this whole time <laughs> <laughs> he's like sorry just go to the company every day he's guys. patched up a little yeah, bit more yeah, yeah, there's, 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 there's more the green door bubble. patch so they're like hey. <laughs> <laughs> the green is sponsored the by the green door what the fuck is going on here man <laughs> oh man Leave your keys in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do you know all this? What Wait, is what is this? What's that mean? I don't even know what that means. You at, pull a key, right? At swinger, that's swinger who parties. You swing with? At swinger parties, I guess. I, I never have, no. But I think, like, they 
just all put their keys in a bowl yeah, and they just randomly and select. You, wow. What a gamble. That sounds miserable. Yeah. What a, yeah, I mean, that could be a whole array. I mean, oh I think God. that everybody's just happy to hook happy up to with swing. anybody there. Happy to swing. Yeah. Like they're, I feel like I could see myself swinging when I'm like 60. I imagine there's a vetting process. To swing? You'd like to be invited to one of those parties. Oh, I, yeah. I imagine yeah. that like... Well, they had them. I remember in New York, like I knew a lot of people that went to parties like that. Um, and they would just like, I think they were FetLife parties. So uh, what does that mean? You ever been on FetLife? No. So it's like a... Uh, Fetish, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's like a... F <laughs> 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 it's like a social media site, happening? but like for fetishes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure. Yo, what, what, yeah, we, it's the kings and queens of tangents, bro. Like Fet Life is the social network yeah. of the uh, for BDSM, uh -huh. fetish, and kinky community. Right. So in New York, a lot of people were on this site and would like they would organize underground. Should we start don'tyuckmyyum.com? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I never went to one, but I've heard that they are a good time. Sure. You know, I mean, if you're into that kind of yeah. thing, I imagine it's a party. Yeah. Literally. Literally, it's a party. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's just having sex all over the place. Yeah. God, God bless. God bless. You know. Stay safe out there, guys, on Fat Life, and <laughs> <laughs> not gonna yuck anyone's yum. That's right. not what I'm here for. Also, Fat Life, if you'd like to sponsor, sponsor us, us. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe go Hashtag in with the green ad. door. Two the door one. and Fet Life uh, collaboration. Right. Ex only fans. I mean, only friends. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad's search history is chinchas then Fet Life. <laughs> <laughs> it literally. <is. laughs> <laughs> there oh, was one man. thing in between. <laughs> she just felt like there's oh, some poker. poker. <laughs> it was Ron Howard. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Chungas. Uh, yeah, right, talk poker. Let's talk poker. We'll Yesterday start. we saw more bracelets given away. Uh, a couple bigger names within the community won uh, bracelets. Brian Hastings yes. won his six. Dark side, baby. Let's go. Christian <laughs> has six. him on his fantasy team, of course. Six. Why wouldn't he? Wow, you uh, must have six. a lot of points on your team. Not that many. Yeah, number six for for him. Six is a lot. I didn't yeah. see uh, I didn't see this video with Helmy's blow up. I assume this happened in the Deuce to Seven that Hastings won. Oh yeah. God. Let's play uh, it. Let's just play it. What place? So what place did of him. did Helmy end up getting? Uh, like, I, I know that I was watching and it was in the, he was still in with nine left. Yeah, Ewas got second. I guess it was a yeah, couple side. hour long. You know how like people talk about the Kardashians, like, oh, everything I know about them is against my will. Like, I hate hearing about them all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the point of? It? That's how I feel about Helmuth. I'm just yeah, like, I... <laughs> he got ninth. Always something. Did he burn the place down? You take the changes with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's one way to get rid of them. Uh, but no, I agree. With, I agree with Melissa. A lot of like, yeah, people don't like. We like hearing about Helmuth, man. It's weird. Oh yeah, he's yeah, like a celebrity. Like, Wait, like uh, did you hear about this? No. Uh, he got eighth, and then they just cut the stream. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I know. I was, <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I was watching the the YouTube thing, but it was kind of trash, bro. They didn't. Wait, even have oh, a it, was, it was the YouTube stream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's because the YouTube stream is trash. Who cares if they Look, cut it? Well, this is the thing. What I was the mainstream yesterday? This is what happened. This, this is what happened. They were supposed to have this on Poker Go. Okay. Right? But the RFID thing didn't work. So uh, they were like, well, we can't really put this on Poker Go behind the paywall because it's, it's not a good product anymore. Right. So they put it on YouTube and we were all watching. Oh, but it was like the normal broadcast. Yeah, there was different angles. Oh, no, no, okay. It was the shit broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, no. There were angles. Like, there were no, player angles. There's three angles for the normal, was like, for the YouTube broadcast, right? It was okay. on a side table. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The YouTube broadcast generally is a three shot where it's just fixed cameras showing one third of the table all around and then a, uh, a flat That cam. seems like about it. That was okay, it. yeah, that's the ship version. Okay, and then they had no whole cards. Yeah, yeah, So I think what happened was that was supposed, they were supposed to have this on Poker Go, but, they, right. but the RFIDs didn't work, so they, they moved it around. But then, yeah, they cut it. They were like, oh, Hummy's out, see ya. <coughs> I guess they didn't like Ewas. <laughs> I mean, it's probably just not worth their production. That's fair, it is ours. Right? Yeah. They have to pay all these people. And it might last a little long. Yeah. 
Yeah. Whatever. I mean, uh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You can't hate him for it. Sour puss over this kind of stuff. If they don't have whole cards, it's just like at that point, like whatever happens, happens. I don't really yeah. think that there's a great version without whole cards. It, it was weird because like it wasn't. All right. A lot of people watch these like side events or mixed game events a little bit to learn the games. And I don't think they do a good job of teaching the games. So I don't know. I'll leave it at that. You mean without the whole cards? Yeah, no whole cards. It's hard. Right, but and like if they also, had whole cards. Yeah, but you also need someone that plays Deuce. Sure. So they should have like, called yeah. me. <laughs> they should have called me. They could have called you. What yeah. the fuck? Dude, the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, Conrad would have drawn four right here. Yeah, out of question. <laughs> There's not even a question. It was no limit, dude. But it right? is kind of no. It was it was limit. Triple draw. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. that's that's um, my specialty. But yeah, but it, but it's still fun to watch because you see, you know, you see like cut off open Dan Zach call button. Oh yeah, Dan Zach got third. Yeah, Dan Zach calls button. Cut uh cut off draws one. Zach draws two. And cut off bets blind. Yeah, it's which a nice is spot. which is great. Like you learn, like oh, okay, when when you're the original razor and you only draw one, and the and the defender draws two, it doesn't even matter that the defender has position. You just trade a bet. Yeah, which is it's a nice concept to like learn and shit like, a little bit. Sure, makes sense. Now you gotta incorporate some bluffs doing that now. Well, I don't know. I couldn't see any bluffs because there there was no hole cards. You don't have to. It's a range bet. He's betting dark. I know, no, no. But I'm just saying, what like use, using, like using that, to, like technique. Like going Conrad's four, trying to. Conrad's shoot. trying to draw one and snow at the same time. <laughs> he he's, he's like, he's, <laughs> he's <laughs> like two pair in his hand. He's like, I know what I'm gonna do. Exactly. I, deuce, deuce. I can't win the hand by drawing three. Is this gonna give up my hands? It's, it's gonna be a dog There were some interesting hands, even with Helmuth. Like Helmuth, Helmuth four. No, did he four bet pre? Bet. He four bet pre. Then this guy that was out of position, pat straight pat from the jump. Helmuth draws one, and then bet the guy that patted calls. Helmuth draws one again, <laughs> like and I'm like and this guy's like pat. So like the guy probably has like a maybe ninety, low. like yeah, like an eighty, like an eight low or or maybe a good nine low, whatever. <laughs> and then the guy pats again. Helmuth draws one and bets, and then on the river Helmuth bets and the guy folds. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> what just happened? I, mean, I wish I saw those cards. That Maybe you're supposed like a, to do that. I don't yeah, know. That sounds like a nine low no, that really could get better. I'm assuming that Helmuth was just drawing to the nuts, yeah. right? He, uh, like, I, think if, I think if you're, well, I don't know enough, but I, my instinct says if your plan is to call, call, fold, then you're supposed to break at some point. Maybe, uh, well, yeah. He but if he probably, keeps drawing. He was just probably thinking that Helmuth wouldn't bluff River if he did not get there, and he probably just had a 9x nine low. 9x nine nine low or, or yeah, 87. Something that yeah, just yeah, wasn't yeah. too good, so it was just like, I'm going to hold. Wouldn't that just theoretically mean Helmuth has to always bet River? I mean, Yeah, but Helmuth. But Helmuth has to also tell me. He's yeah. not sure, always he might just give up. If he pairs up, he's not going to bet yeah, River. Yeah, like, it's one up. bet. How, well, the guy's like patting all the way down. How hard is to pull that trigger? It's one big block. I mean, yeah. You only really have so many of them, man. I get it. You only have so many of them. Limit is certainly not my forte. It was, it was, it was interesting to watch. It would have been great with the whole cards, just because of like these guys are very skilled. Like you could just tell based on just hot like I don't know, like just based yeah. on like they just know what to do like yeah. right away, yeah. which is like really cool. And if then, you ever get a chance to play it, I think you should. Like it's, it's such a fun game. Yeah, I, I, I think Deuce is super fun. I think all the mixed games are fun, except Study. I don't like Study. It's really hard. <laughs> it's super hard. It's one of the Nobody fun likes Study. It's I hard. Like it. It's so hard. It's such like, a hard game. I have no idea. I don't I think I could. No. Study. That's the one I don't think yeah, I'll find. I played eight games for like a while, and that, that was the hardest game out of all the games. It's, it was not fun. But anyway, they cut out, they cut out Hamid. We had two other bracelet winners yesterday. Uh, Daniel Wyman won his very first after 15 years of attempting, yeah, he's, he's, a, uh, he's a well-known mixed game, no limit player. Uh, shipped the 1K PLO eight-handed event. Also, we saw the 3K Turbo. I'm going to refer to it as that because it was. Come to a conclusion, Nino Ullman won. Uh, it looks like that was his first bracelet as well, I believe. Yeah, it was. Uh, he shipped that for 594K, man. God, a lot. that's frustrating. I, I don't know why it's frustrating to me, but it's like... Make it a million. No, no, no. It's frustrating <laughs> to me that like they got that good of a turnout for a, bad, or for a poorly structured event. But, I mean, 
Maybe we just all want to play turbos now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I like love six it. Max. Yeah, people There's do like six max. Room, you can I think that's hands. why I'm frustrated. Yeah. Is that people clearly like six max, and to take like the the most meaty price point. This is the one that's in between make a big buy-in and a low buy-in, yeah. and you make it really fast. Yeah. That can't put a good taste in recreational's mouth. Fifteen hundred was a better structure, right? Yep, it was forty sixty. That's crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, forty sixty three day event. How is that possible? That's like because weird. I guess they're trying to say that recreationals aren't going to play the three K six max for the most part. Yeah, but that's just obviously wrong by the prize pool. Oh, of course. Fuck also, that, it's just that so easy. shit was crazy. It's so crazy to like have so many different structures. I, I feel like, I feel like that almost leads to me believing that there's a lot of indecision at the top. And they're just like, oh, we should try like all these here. different things. It's just like, we've tried all these different things. Like 4060 is for sure uh, the best approach now that we have more chips. Yeah. So Who's you can the, either go 60, 60 throughout and give fewer chips, and that's fine. Or if you really feel like you need to appease recreationals and give them more chips to start, fine. 4060 is great. Uh, and, and it's so slow to change. We screamed at the top of our lungs as a community for years that there's no reason to ever start a tournament without antis. Zero, right. Like, literally, we would play between two and four levels yeah. of a 50 or 60 level event. Sorry, I guess it was more like a 30 times. or 40 level event yeah. with no ante. Yeah. It's like, what are we doing? We're playing 1% of the tournament yeah. with no ante. Why? Why? Be crazy. And everybody would just always be like, it's for the cash game players. It's for the recreationals. You think they give a shit? It was the same thing when the big blind Andy came to be. It was like, oh, the recreationals are going to hate this. Like, we're going to be slow to adopt because we... No. No, they're here for fun. People and yeah. change, bro. That's and the just big blind to... Andy was the best thing that ever happened to poker. Of course. Of course it was. I mean, yeah. it has its flaws, but it's the, the no, positives are, are way better. <laughs> I think the only flaw is the p putting the ante up first. Yes. That they won't I agree. Deal it has to go to that. the big blind first. It's not, though. It's almost standard across the board anti first. The only place it does go to the big blind first is WSOP. No. Yes. I, I thought I just read something that that's not true. It's the only place oh, it Oh, maybe goes. it was MGM I was reading. The only place it goes to the uh, big blind first is WSOP. Everywhere else universally, it's the anti first. Yeah, I think theoretically it makes sense to be anti first, but I think practically... Basically, I think that there's no, uh, there's no real difference in the rules or in the theory of the rule it should be anti as to which one you're i mean yes no, the big sort of because should be first well because I think. It, if in a normal game it would be every ante and then if the big line was short like they would you know yeah yeah but it would be it would be one ninth of right. the ante right yeah this is why the big line has to go first. basically melissa's right in the sense that like the standard had always been anti first yeah uh if, if, if you could afford to pay it and then whatever remained yeah. became the big blind. But I think there are two reasons not to do that. One, uh, it doesn't really harm anybody. It's fair to everybody across the board. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, the whole idea of like, well, you got all these free hands and now you're getting a free big blind. Yeah. Uh, which is now unfair to everybody who paid your ante. It's like, yeah, that's kind of true, but it's also just like... Harmless when you do it's, it the other yeah, it's so it's so innocuous and, and doesn't really matter all that much. But being able to win the blinds is so critical. Yeah. And also, like, the other thing is I don't think that you really ever want to be in a scenario where the big blind's not posted. Right? Well, no, that blind. is strange. Yeah. I got, yeah. It, it just seems very weird to me yeah. to be playing in a open. single blind game where it's small blind right. only. That's you true. lower the stakes, essentially, for everybody else involved. Yeah. And that seems problematic. And you just tighten right. the ranges. Yeah. Because it's not yeah, enough to win. Well, no, because their opening size is still the same. They're but just you, they're just you, buying for less money. Have to raise it's less just like hands. if there's no small blind. Yeah. But there being no small blind is is reasonable because now the person defending is defending for the same price that they would be other like if it's big blind only mm -hmm. and they're facing a min raise, it's one more blind to them, right? Yeah. But in this instance, if it's no big blind and small blind only, now a min raise is a blind and a half to them. And that's just kind of mechanically odd yeah mm. like they're closing the action but paying a larger price mm -hmm. it, i i don't know just i i think it's a courtesy basically to post the big line first yeah. yeah and i'm just all for that yeah i think it makes sense live yeah but yeah it's, it's just about like flow of the game make it fun like i just it, don't think you ever want to be vying to only be able to win your own chip back yeah no that's yeah. it's sad it is a <laughs> sad fucking moment for poker when you are sitting there and you have w w one annie 
and you win the hand and you get back your one ante. Right. It is very sad. Yeah. Right. And like, not only that, but there is a scenario where, uh, it just folds to the small blind. Obviously it would like literally never happen, but it just folds to the small blind. And now he the just gets to, gets his he has to pull his money back. <laughs> And, and just basically freeze. play a free uh, a free hand of showdown versus you. I didn't yeah. think about never thought about that. Yeah. But I mean the same thing is kind of true if somebody opens. So if they open and the small blind folds, yeah. they win the small blind and then they get to pull back their open. So they're risking two to uh to free immediately roll. win a half a blind and then, and then just basically risk zero to win yeah. a full blind. Yeah, which we is interesting. Say anything. Anyway, that's <laughs> just my random tangent for the day. This is making me want to play. Now it's, I'm like, ugh, maybe I, I told should you. play today. It, it's well, I'm going to make you really want to play. Hi. It's a million dollars to prize. No. No. One of us could be million dollars richer. Just don't get it. second. It's like, don't get it's second. It's like 135K. <laughs> you don't want second. <laughs> like, I'll fucking, if I can get second, I will take You'll be, it. Yeah, but for a but couple days, pissed. you're going to be like, wow. I'll be like, I can't believe I was so fucking close. And then I lost a flip. Second's going to be like 89,000. Well, the, yeah. 89,000. <laughs> Imagine. So I wasn't aware of this. We were kind of talking about not knowing what the golden ratio is, obviously. But WSOP does put a calculator up on their site where you can go through each event and you can kind of project how many runners you think it'll get. And yeah. it'll spit back out what the payout is. So here we have uh, an example for the millionaire maker, and it's basically based off of 5,326 oh people. I'm guessing if I had to take a shot in the dark, that's probably what last year's was. <laughs> look at these huh? pay uh, jumps. So when you look at the payout, it's 2x from second to first. That's oh nuts, bro. God, it's man. so that's brutal, so man. Disgusting. I'm going to feel it's so, so bad gross. whoever comes in second when it's I win. so gross. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, <laughs> I know it's, I know it's uh, not something that anybody would want to hear, uh -huh. but when you guarantee first place to be a million dollars like this, there should just be a waterfall effect yeah. where now it's a super top heavy tournament. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Making the final table is just worth a whole yeah, lot of money. No, well, look, go be. back to that real quick. My best guess is ninth place won't get a hundred dollars, or won't will we'll not get a hundred thousand. But how do you do that? <laughs> yeah, ninth so here it is. is ninth place gets eighty three k. So usually it's always a, so it's, like a it's always a ten to one ratio between ninth and first. Oh my god! I have a question. So how would you do that? Would you pay less people? Yeah. Would you across the board? This would be the one where I said, "Look, guys, we're paying ten percent." Yeah, I think it should right? be right. It's the biggest fifteen hundred of the year. You're all vying for a million dollars up top. We're eliminating the 15% yeah, payout. They pay 15 now. There's just, it's going to be like, it flattens yes, it way too much 15. with the, that big of a field. Right. Like th this is the problem that I have with, uh, w with institutions that they, they create these protocols that become hard, fast rules, right? Paying 15% is a protocol that we should adhere by most of the time. But there are certainly instances that it make exceptions. Like, unless the field size is over this amount. Well, the or bigger field sizes, you want to pay 15% more often. This, these guaranteed but, first but places, you make, yeah. okay, when these the like million dollar it's, bounties, it's this all, one, these, all Yeah, it's stuff. this one. It's the 888 right. where they guarantee 888K yeah. to first. Like when you make those big first place guarantees, the payout structure cannot be uniform to your normal payout structure. Even the yeah. million dollar bounty, like you just make it 10%. It keeps the money in, yep. the, in the pool. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I think that there need to be tweaks made. Obviously, I, I'm turning into the. What if it's like 7k though? That was like for 5k runners. Um. Well, in well the more runners it gets, the flatter it'll be for hold sure. Hold on. In 2019, um, Millie Maker got 8,800 entries, mm -hmm. and first was 1.35. And second was what? What? 1.35. What was second? Holy uh, I, fuck! I, I'm reading this from our chat right now. I'm gonna go look at it right, All right now. Well. Okay. That. 1.35 is nuts. It's yeah, nuts because it, because as the field grows, the payout structure should, be, should become a lot flatter, not yeah. add more yeah. to first. It yeah. becomes more first. You don't need to add another 30% <laughs> you know, to, to first. first. <laughs> right? Like, second was second still, place still, still 600? Second 500K, first is 1.3. I mean, I think there's a, a good likelihood that second place was probably like 650K. Yeah. Oh yeah, my God, that would be absurd. It's so insane. Uh, Bobo, go, to that, go to that payout calculator one more time. So just change the number of runners to like 8K. What is this called to get Millionaire Maker? Oh, no way. That's oh. so brutal. Man. Wait, there's still, there's 5K already? No, right? What, what does the drop down do? Nothing? Um, oh, wow. All right, so That's in 2019 okay. for the Millie Maker, is 1.35 for first, 830 for second, 619, okay. 464, 
350, 260. I mean, it actually wasn't bad in 2019. Still a 500K it's, heads up. It's, it's still yeah. way too much between first and second, but that's that's consistent with... A little bit with, better. At least you're close to a million for second. It's a little bit better, but like... Huh? How many runners 8,800 and 1,300 were paid. 8,800. Maybe, oh, maybe they get 10,000 this time. Possible. 1.5 for the win? Possible. Man, I should go... What does the Colossus I was supposed like to go No, nah, Colossus is small now. It's not the same. I was supposed to what? go on a date Colossus tonight. is not the same anymore. Why not? Because it's not, it's not the marquee. The housewarming became yeah, the Colossus. They just have too yeah. many other events yeah. similar to it. That's true. The, the Colossus used to be the opening event. Yeah. Like housewarming was this year, mm -hmm. how reunion was last, like whatever. Like, but now Colossus is just like end of the series. It's not like the same anymore. I mean, it's still, also, the buy-in, I think, is smaller. It's 400, right? Yeah, but it used to be like five, 565. 565, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I, I'm saying. The housewarming is the new Colossus. Yeah, I definitely... that I learned my lesson. Like, I for <laughs> sure will not play the Colossus. I haven't played the Colossus since the first year. First year was huge. I, you're in it was like 26,000. 26, yeah. 26,000? Yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. The second year was huge, too. Colossus, yeah. too. How many yeah. bullets were you in for the first year? Max. No, you weren't. No, I wasn't. Because it was unlimited. Jordan was in for Max. Yeah, he was in for like 16. 11. Oh my God. It was yeah, 11. So you were in for 12, 12 was the max. He was in for 11. Uh, I think I was in for like half that. I like think six. I think that was Colossus too. I think the first think year was right. unlimited. I think you might be right. Yeah, someone was in for like twenty four or something. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. <laughs> Colossus two had the like a ten k weird cap. Colossus. Colossus was a shit show, bro. Colossus was nuts. I think it'll be ran well. I think that the payout structure probably will leave a lot to be desired, and the fact that it's a smaller buy-in is like even less interesting to me. Yeah. I had a blast though in the home work. Home warming, house warming, house house homecoming, home house record. House record. House record. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the DBI. The, the down, yeah, bad invitational. down bad invitational. I, I honestly, I played it three times. I had such a good time. It was a good yeah. tournament. Yeah, but like. Because everyone was so excited and like. Everyone was so excited. The room was a buzz. I also didn't start playing till like 2 p.m. each day. So the fact it went to 2 a.m. didn't feel like that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but like, I busted the final level of day 1D. And it started to dawn on me, like, as I was getting short, if I bag, I have to be back here in six hours. <laughs> what? And then yeah. all of a sudden, the fun is out. Yeah, like, the fun, so, I just got 19th in the 5K online. I'm just that. like... Once you have that thought, you're, you're going to bust. I was so miserable the last hour. Oh, God. I had, like, yeah. eight blinds for an yeah. hour straight. <laughs> Am I really gonna bag eight blinds to come back in six hours? Right. I'm just gonna put this <laughs> off the last hand of the night. I, you know what, though? <laughs> I probably would have gotten my hotel room. <laughs> I, I might have been a little more proactive about getting that thing done. Yeah. I mean, there would have been no line at that time, also. That's that's also a fair point, man. Maybe if I can actually bag chips, I can <laughs> get this. Good luck, buddy. Get this room done. <laughs> Good luck doing the impossible. <laughs> I just need Lando somewhere to go and break, man. I need to escape. I, You're not going to make it on your, back to your room, though. No, yeah, you will. Bally's is literally... Yeah, the elevator to right the there. rooms is oh, right, right there. Right there. Yeah. We fucked up not booking it previous. Like, we could have literally just booked for the whole series. I, mean, I still can. It's for, really you actually, can, you can. like, yeah. I saying. think the setup is so nice for, like, people it's visiting so awesome. and stuff. Because yeah. they can just stay there, and then they walk right down to the tournament. Yeah, it's almost scary convenient. Yeah. That's when you get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Rio is too much. You couldn't get to your room. It was Appar useless. Apparently, PokerGo just announced that they'll be covering um, the Millie Maker. I feel like they're oh. listening, bro. They're listening. Yeah, I saw... They, I, I don't think that's a new announcement. I think it was always on the schedule. They did add the monster, though. They did. Right? Yeah, that was that nice. That seemed to be a hit. I mean, it was a no-brainer. It was 900 and some thousand to first. For $1,500. For a $1,500 yeah, event. The other event Francis. they were covering was like 150 k to first. You got Francis wearing a fucking cowboy hat. <laughs> it's everything we've ever dreamed of. Yeah. <laughs> what more could you ask for? It's WSOP time, baby. Let's go. There's no, there's no hope. There's no hope. What? I didn't say nothing. Dude, what? <laughs> Somebody's gonna pluck a fucking 250k bounty at the win today. Yeah. That's all I know. I know some people in there. These bounties you are have the a new piece thing. Of huh? Someone, right? Everybody I got a little piece. Little, little, little Come I gotta on. Start buying time. some action. I mean, get my fingers wet. What is it? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And that's the show. Your beak, you hornball. Wow. And if anybody's wanted to know, oh, Jesus. If anyone wanted to know, that is not a, now, that's not a saying. No. Well, it, it might oh be on my Hinge. God. <laughs> Speaking of Hinge, I got noticed today that I'm in the highlights. Ooh. So if you see me on there, so you can send me a rose. Hey, I've, I've made it. I've made it. 
you know, I made it. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? You're in the highlights. What does that mean? You're like featured? I'm featured. Ooh, she's featured. You can send her a rose. You can send me a rose. You can't just regular like me. You have to send me a rose. Right. So you have to, have to pay for it, right? Costs like yeah. three Something. bucks. That's strong. Well, everybody gets one free rose a week, so she could just be... They're free rose. Yeah. Yeah. It costs three dollars to now. send a rose on something. I feel like it's you're like a real and it rose. is fucking free to like the the Only Friends podcast. Yeah, the, I know. It is so. It's I, free. I should just say, oh, hey, I'll undercut them. You can send me a rose for two dollars direct. <laughs> How about that? Right here on YouTube. Three dollars. Fingers right here are on wet. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wild. Yeah, my fingers bro. wet. Buy some action. Jeez. What? <laughs> what? What is wrong with me? All right, let's. let's I gotta go, tell you. didn't make my standouts, poker, man. You didn't make my standouts. Well, that's. Cool. Like, we, we know. I, my my face is. I'm like, it, it, she's not there. My face doesn't really match your. Yo, who I'm was looking. that? Did you yeah, send the rose? What was that? Karina, send the... Karina, though, she's. Wow. I'm sending a rose. That's my oh. ex. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. Absolutely shocking. Her fingers were wet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start wet, saying nuts, that. Bro. I mean, my toes wet. Right? <laughs> dip your, your beak. Dip your toe. My beak. You want to get your beak wet? That's weirder, That's right? That's so much better. That's the <laughs> phrase. I'm not That's a bird. so weird. I'm no, not it's not. It's like a, a bird. Being. It's it's like a bird taking a drink. Like just wet. dip your toe in. Well, yeah, but the phrase is not get your toes yeah, wet. Yeah, but toes get, for that fetish, that fetish that <laughs> fetish fight that she was on. I'm going to get my fingers wet on Fet Life. <laughs> Fet Life, her toes are wet. <laughs> Yo, let's get out of here, man. It's just what crazy. We got to try to win. This is million. why I'm talking all the idioms, because you guys don't know any of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, get your See, fingers we don't, wet, get we your don't toes understand wet, get your feet wet. I all right, let's all head down to the valleys in Paris. I'm trying to get my fingers wet today. <laughs> <laughs> send the rose. Get these birds on a hundred dollars. Or, or, um, send me a on rose a million dollars. in real life if you want. Oh, get your man. fingers they wet. There, they might go down there and give you a rose. I would be so flattered. Really? Yeah. Don't encourage this behavior. Yeah, this is going to happen this now. Behavior. This is gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Do you I think read so. the chat? Dudes are I can't wait till she comes in Monday with like a full dozen roses. <laughs> <laughs> if you get happen. a dozen roses today, we'll do a pot tomorrow. <laughs> no, Talk no. about each guy that brought no, yeah, but it has to be 12 different guys. It can't be one guy bringing a dozen roses. Like, no that one's guy's gonna just... give me a rose, okay? Everyone's too lazy. I don't know. I don't know. That's just the way it is. You just ruined yourself. <laughs> I think it's gonna happen. I just, I, yeah. I, I think, my fuck, expectations man. are. I've managed. I don't that. really want to come tomorrow, though. but I will. I will. If you get 12, do you think roses, her date will just bring her roses? No, no, it can't be one I'm person. I'm supposed to go, so I am supposed to go on a date. That's I, the one person that's not going to bring you. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, well, he might. I don't know. We, she like, rolls her eyes like it's an expectation on a blind no, date to no, bring her not. rose. No, it's not. And it's not, and I don't even expect people I'm dating to give me flowers, even though I would like them, and I'm trying to make little hints, like, hey. <laughs> Girls love that, dude. I love when you like, Girls so weird guys never thing. get me flowers. They're like, yeah, that is weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, I love flowers. I no hate one's Valentine's ever giving Day. you roses on, on Valentine's Day? Only when I've like pulled their teeth for it. Wow. That's the easiest <laughs> thing in the world to do. That's a lame. Like, I almost don't like giving flowers because to me it's thoughtless. Because it's, it's like too easy. Yeah, it's, it's just like, like it, it's, it's, just it's so... It's a gesture that's like a very old fashioned. I like an old fashioned like thing. Yeah, the girl I'm talking to too. She, also, she likes the old fashioned. She's like, oh, roses and open my door. Yeah, exactly. Like old, I'll do, old I'll do that. Uh, the, the, the stuff. The where Bro, I draw the line is I cannot take off your coat and put it on a puddle. I would do I would honestly do that. <laughs> I would legitimately do that before I would open a girl's car door. It no, feels, I think it's so sweet. Like it if feels they so open reductive. Door for you, the car door they, thing. They they like I got pull in trouble for not opening out. it. Bro. Like I up. really <laughs> like that old fashioned like chivalry stuff. But uh, guys are so above it nowadays. It's no, like, it's not about being above it. It's about well, like treating somebody as as not being totally inept like I i'll happily hold doors i don't want to be like yes treat if that's what that means treat me inept no 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 I, yeah, the, do it. what i'm trying to say is like and maybe i'm just like viewing this incorrectly but like when you're opening a girl's car door for her and you're dating her right this now becomes either oh, a she's thing too stupid to open a door well no it's is not that, that. It it's not that uh doing it once i think is like fine it's a romantic gesture that's that's adorable yeah uh but if you set the precedent that you are going to open <laughs> her car door, expects you to open the door. Yeah, now it becomes like an expectation. Yeah. yeah, and it becomes this weird expectation where it's just like, 
Oh, you didn't open the door for me this time. No, but that happens but to I don't me think it needs to be like, you know, it doesn't have to be like you do it once and then you have to do it every time. But it's just sort of like, if it's in your way or what, it's like you're you're already walked around. You don't have to get out of your way and I'm going to sit there and wait like a weirdo. That's what's weird to me. Yeah, I'm not going to ever How do that. else would I end up on the passenger always, side like, door <laughs> to open it for you? I will always go to open the door myself. I have to like they, go sprint they, like, to the passenger you, side you door. You do that if you're already out though and it's, you know, like open the fucking door. Wait, already out how? You know, oh, you're you saying out, if you're the in the car door, yeah. I'm saying to let them into the car. Oh, yeah. yeah that's like true. we're walking back to the car. Now, instead I mean, of me going to my side. No, you go. You have to go yeah, to you the. You stop to, on there. You yeah. stop there. Open the door for them and then go and get it. It's definitely not stopping. It's like beelining yeah. to the wrong door. Okay. Well, if you're coming in from your side, then that's fine. But if you're coming in. Towards the passenger side. Why the side. fuck can't you open your own door? It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's not about why. It's, just, it's not why. I can open my own door, obviously. It's also, just a chivalry thing. Also, this is like one of those things <laughs> Chivalry's where... Chivalry's dead. No, this no is one, one of those things where it's like mixed doors. signals get sent a lot. Where for some girls, they'll really appreciate a gesture like that. Yeah. And other girls will see it as very reductive. No, but they'll tell you. Yeah, they'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, but it's like, who wants to... to... It's also pretty easy to tell. Like, you can kind of characterize, like... They'll tell you, but, like, who wants to do something that's so, like, out of the way and, uh... It's so it's, You're so vulnerable in that open... moment to just be told, like, don't do that. I open all the building well, they doors. Never like, be all rude the building doors it. I open and the woman always goes in if first. If they are yeah, rude I agree about that. it... Right. That's... Like... That's... That's, yeah. that's standard, yeah. right? And the reason why I agree... Yeah. The, the reason why I think that's... Uh, so much better of a gesture is because it's something that I could do for my life. I can mm. always just make it a point to open the open the the building door and let the girl yeah. go first. Although it's a little bit weird, right? Because if there it's was not. somebody blasting from the other side, like they're getting hit first. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought. Like, like, yeah. That's your first thought. <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought. It's like you're putting sending them to a fucked up situation. Sometimes you never know. What do you like, you mean? know when you sleep? What? You know when you where sleep? Where are you guys going? <laughs> yeah, shit happens. You know you gotta shit happens. You always gotta be prepared. You're not taking to a crack house. This is look when you sleep. Crack houses. That's not a concern. <laughs> no, it's kind of the same concept of like when you sleep with a girl in the bed, you are the one that sleeps next to the door. The man sleeps next right. to the door yes. because if someone bl comes blasting, like or you're, if you're walking first. on a sidewalk, you should. Yeah, be if you're on, on the, the sidewalk, side. you're on the outside. But somehow we let the girl walk in first. <laughs> it's not the same premise. It's not. You're probably going somewhere safe yeah. if you're opening the door. Let's just say, just say barring, you know, like prisons and stuff and wherever you guys are taking women <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, no. but yeah I, th I think like the the ability to uh keep that gesture up yeah. is what makes it endearing and thoughtful and you know has meaning behind the actual gesture yeah i mean i'm not i wouldn't be a stickler if they were like they didn't do it i wouldn't take it personally if they just like didn't do it one time i would if maybe they like stopped doing it forever like they were doing it and then like they just like stopped doing it that's why i'm thinking about the car door thing you know when i open the car door every time when i buy the tesla the tesla truck you just yeah, hit the button car button. doors go up open the door shut up Conrad. <laughs> he's in that one percent already you know you're just, already like locked in so you don't need to romance anyone yeah, just, just just shut up yeah it's just not it's not the same I hope, I, you, I hope you do get those 12 flowers today though. I hope I do too. It'll be nice. Uh, can I you mean, film them if they <laughs> just, <laughs> just if you see someone coming with roses, just start no filming. I think this is a real test uh as to how loved we are as a podcast like i don't think it's that big of a stretch the 12 people are going to show up to the Paris so with a rose sure. can you just please? to get Look. the episode out tomorrow no yeah. and also you have to like tweet or like instagram story no your, table, give your table your table I, how are they gonna find the, you? The line is 0.5 and I'm gonna take the honor. I no. The line is what? I the line is 0.5 and I'm I'll taking I'll the honor. I will guarantee you get one. I bet 100. Guaranteed. I bet 100 over 0.5. I'll All probably right. bring it myself. Booked. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. You can't. You guys can't. Do it like fucking. I'll hand it to somebody in line and be like, that Ridiculous. girl over there. Ridiculous. A Asian looking one? Uh, her. They're like, flowers. which one? Tweet <laughs> Melissa's table number. Yeah, you no. have to tweet the number. <laughs> the bet's off if you are arranging it. That's obviously... No, we're not I'm arranging it. We're not arranging it. But you have to tweet your table a number and then say... 
I'm so I'm not concerned. For... Tweet, hey guys, if you want to give me roses, no, yeah, they gotta work. First of all, they need to we're work just for it. Find her. In the <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You, you want right. to give? Then I'm gonna go to Poker News and be like, make sure you tell where the Melissa is. This is a big day in her life. Look, I gotta tell you. First it's of all, not, and no one's gonna give me anything. First of all, it's not that hard to find. Uh, a female in a yeah. population in a of ninety eight percent male. Five one. She's five one. I'm five two. She's okay. five two. There's what? gonna be six thousand people in there. Yeah, there's gonna be six thousand people. How many women do you think are gonna be there? It's six thousand people. <laughs> she said five. Five. <laughs> five women. <laughs> I got to meet Chrissy yesterday. Oh, nice. She was to my left. She watches the pod. She said sometimes. Yeah. Okay, I'll take really it. Really sweet. I like her a lot. You got to meet all in Pav as as well. Yeah, Pav. Wait, she was playing cash games with you? No, no. she was oh. uh, in the tournament. Yeah. She's cool. She's yeah, and cool. then I saw Pav when we, we both busted around the same time, so he came to Resorts World. He gave he you a rose. Cash. Man, no. these roses are going to be fire. <laughs> he is going to be a dad. Wow. Exciting. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to have a baby. Blue. Okay, so then yeah, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what the, yeah. the, the context is. You know, maybe he's freaking the I fuck mean, out. He has a living girlfriend, and they like are having a baby girl. Did she just say a living girlfriend? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> what. Why are you laughing? That's no, a that's thing. that's that's kind of normalish. I did it once. You I live like in it. you you live together. Whatever you want. <clears> yeah, I didn't like to say. It. Listen, I'm getting my I'm fingers wet. It was down bad. Whatever. Got my fingers wet. No. No. Home records. Someone cut <laughs> Melissa's mic. <laughs> we we have night. to end today. All right, listen. <laughs> I'm going to make a million dollars, and I'm trying to work a day off tomorrow. So we're heading down to the Millie Maker. We'll be at Paris and Bally's hopefully all day into the wee hours. I have a feeling this structure is quite, quite long. Is it our levels today? It feels like it. I think so, yeah. Um, it feels like our level days. Uh, I think it's our throughout, but it could be 40. I hope it's 40, 60. I think that, well, actually I don't because what I've noticed is the 40, 60, they really take advantage of you and they add in those extra levels and it ends up being like two hours longer than if it were just hour long they, days. They really try to scum you. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, but yeah, it started at 10 a.m. So we are going to be getting there. 60 minute levels. Melissa, when will you 11, be there? 11, 60 minute levels. When is that correct? I, what? When yep. will you be uh, at the Paris? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll play today. I kind of feel like it. And usually yeah. that's. Oh, you have thing. to play today. Oh, we you have the mix. Deli- yeah, but you that means delivery. that I have to not go on my date. He'll wait. Wow. So this is like. He'll either, wait. Either she I was going to go on this date and then the go date. tomorrow to play. But I feel like playing today, and that's usually when I should play. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah you should play the day you And also, like you playing. probably should just give yourself the option to play both. Yes. Yeah. And you also just bust a lot. You can still go on the date. What do you mean I bust a lot? In the tournament. You bust a lot. You bust. Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is he crazy. does, in fact, bust a lot. Thank you all for watching. The wet fingers, everything. This is crazy. Dude. We'll be back Monday with some highlights and updates as far as who's working towards becoming a millionaire. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave comments below. Let us know uh, if you're going to get your fingers wet this weekend. Yeah, we'll wow. see you guys all Monday. Wow.